Blender is finally coming to tablets and other smaller devices, including Apple iPad, Microsoft Surface, and Wacom pads, among others. And this time is for real. I remember there was a demo by Massimo showing off his Blender build using Blender on a Nokia N96 modeling a bottle. It was impressive, but uh, this was a, a stripped down version of Blender with, without all the functionality. But uh, yeah, it did work. It was actually Blender, but just with, with some limited features. But this time they're trying to port the entire Blender onto a small form device like a tablet, including all its functionality. Though they are not rolling it all at once, they are bringing in most of the most use functions all oh, that makes sense at least for now and uh, they also change the interface so that the ui is more usable on an ipad uh, because remember you don't have a mouse or a keyboard you're just using your fingers or a pen and they released a post about it i'll be leaving links in the description if you want to check it out so if you have an ipad uh, this is your chance to take it out for a spin uh, the idea is to bring the power of blender to these devices this requires adapting to platform specific paradigms but also to offer more task or oriented user interfaces with reduced information density. This will be achieved by extending existing input methods and improving workspaces and application templates running on top of regular builds. So they are trying to just change the interface around so that it's more user friendly on these devices, making buttons a little bit bigger so that their hitboxes are are not easily missed with your fingers. Well, it is the organization's first attempt at creating a tablet forecast a blender uh, the community itself has been attempting to do this over the years like i've showed previously on the nokia n60 version although that was i think like a joke no one was really attempting to make blender work on that but uh, there have been several attempts to make it work on tablets or more advanced uh, devices that are not desktops or laptops and uh, phones are really unique in their designs they have a lot of inbuilt hardware uh, that can be used in blender you can see here in an, this example uh, an artist by the names of will anderson on on x.com is showing off how he is animating a character by just using uh, their phone well they're not working directly on the tablet but they're using the mobile phone as a controller for the character uh, so this setup can also work with a tablet if it's implemented imagine you are on a bus or on a train and uh, uh, yeah you just pull up your tablet and pull up your phone and start admitting just like that uh, there are several several use cases for this type of form factor i mean look at this setup here by frankie polito uh, it's a samsung tablet as a wireless monitor here is another example by famco's just animating a character using their phone again there is still a desktop being used here M maybe now he can just pick up the, the ipad and uh, just animate it directly but uh, don't get too excited yet because the initial platform where this idea will be tested is on the Apple iPad Pro. So if you don't have that, you might have to wait a bit longer and uh, it will be used with the Apple Pencil followed by Android and other graphics tablets in the future. While standalone tablets are the primary targets, the core design principles apply across all platforms. Uh, this means that the UI improvements will immediately benefit regular tablet users even as Blender is being ported to run natively on the target devices. So who is this for? Because you know, Blender is a compute hungry program that requires a lot of resources where tablets uh, struggle a bit, even with the advances like uh, the M2, M3 chips that you find in Apple tablets. So who is this tablet form for? According to this post, they are targeting you. The Blender user who is already familiar with Blender, they're not trying to capture a new market or new users who are not already interested in Blender. Remember, Blender is one of the largest 3D applications or one of the largest applications out there with over a million downloads a month. I think they realize that a lot of things are easier on a tablet than on a desktop. For example, sculpting, retopo, set dressing, and other stuff. They are just trying to create a better user experience for the users who already use Blender, but this time they're giving them the option to try out Blender on a different device. Anyway, that's the latest in the community. I'll be trying to update you with new news that is coming out more often. So yeah, let me know what you think. See you in the next video.